What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Luna Classic is the revival of a lifetime. It's the one that people are going to write tales about when this is all done. Everybody loves a comeback story. If you watch The Replacements, you'll love Shane Falco coming back. Everybody loves a comeback story. Luna Classic is on the verge of starting one of the more epic comeback journeys in crypto history. In fact, I don't know that it's ever been done before. So let's talk about what's going on. We've got a bold prediction from somebody. Look, I told you guys, in my opinion, in my opinion, that we're going to head to about three cents. 2.8 cents was the number that I gave you in this bull market. However, we have somebody out here who says not only one dollar, but that Luna Classic could go as high as five dollars. Now, if you like a five dollar, um, if you like a five dollar Luna Classic, make sure you leave a comment and a like on the video. Um, that's an incredible number. Uh, let's talk about how we get there. Let's let's see how this breaks out. Uh, I'll give you my opinion of it. Here's the article. So the article basically says that um, uh, this is a, a gentleman by the name of Tara uh, Candle Calls. And what he says is, crypto analyst Candle Calls shared a chart suggesting a significant upward trend while fueling speculation that the lunk price can reach all new highs. The analyst predicting a significant price surge of one to five dollars. That is a gigantic number. Now, it's not really an analysis of a chart of any sort. This is basically just a, a guy giving a number and, you know, other people are questioning like, you know, where is it coming from? Let me break some of this down for you. Maybe uh, we can come to an accord of some sort and really kind of look at it a little bit differently. So because you guys know what I do and how I do it, I've taken a fib tool out and I've gone for the golden ratio to really give us an idea of what does the golden ratio look like. Cryptos generally in a bull market hit their golden ratio. So we have to define which one that is or where that is in Luna Classic. And right now that sits at about 10 times where we are right now. That ratio from the bear market, from, from the collapse of Luna to the bottom over here, that puts us with a golden ratio of two zeros one. Now, that is not the number that anybody's looking for, but it's a significant stride in the development of this ecosystem. Here's the thing. We've already been there and done that. I think that this surge with retail returning to crypto is probably a foregone conclusion. So if you will, just grant me that a 10X from where we are is just the beginning and there'll be burns there'll be a lot that goes into this but stick with me here so let's just say that what we're really looking at is um hundredth of a cent or tenth of a cent whatever the number is um point zero zero one tenth of a cent so with that could we 10x from there well let's go look at the market cap and let's try to figure that out so the market cap currently 508 million in order to get to where we need to do that's a 10x 10x from here is a 5 billion market cap based on the current circulating supply. Now, Binance does not reduce the supply nearly enough, so we don't really have an opportunity there, if you will, for something else to happen. So that that's not a it's not a bad thing. Just stick with me here. Um, so 509 million market cap basically. Um, 10x is 5 billion. 100x, which is what gets us to a penny, is 50 billion. Now, the question would be, can we get to 50 billion? Well, let's take another look. Currently, there's only five cryptos that are above 50 billion market cap with 1.2 trillion, 292 billion, 119 billion. That's Tether, by the way. Uh, BNB at about 80 billion, Solana at about 67 billion. So we've got some work to do. Not even the stablecoin USDC is sitting above 50 billion. So there is some serious work to do. So we have to go back to the quote unquote drawing board and let's look at it one more time. So to get into this range, we need significant burns, which is where Ceramic's new proposal to be released towards the first week of November, I want to say, gives us some 
look into what would happen. Now, ultimately, I think that the perfect version of a repeg would be to introduce the repeg in that every buy and sell on USTC to Lunk includes some sort of burn of the crypto. So if you buy a million USTC at a penny and you sell it back to the pool because you're buying Luna Classic, then you're not paying a tax. But internally, some of the uh, some of the crypto that gets sold back thus, quote unquote, burnt, would then be used to buy Luna Classic and burn Luna Classic. And the same thing with Luna Classic, when you go from Luna Classic to USTC. And this would encourage people to work on chain and not on Binance. But from Luna Classic to USTC, again, you buy a million Luna Classic. Cryptonomy has over 600 digital assets for you to swap, store, and trade. Cryptonomy is doing a giveaway for $1,000 in your fixed staking deposit. You will randomly receive a bonus of between $50 and $5,000. All right, folks, we're going for six months this time. 29.6 APY. Contract has been created. Guys, Cryptonomy at this point should be your main staking platform. And that's because of the dynamic rewards that have been available from the launch pool. Folks, sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Start staking, start earning. And when you sell, then a portion of what got sold then goes into buying USTC and burning USTC. Now, remember, there's also an Oracle pool and a community pool that need to be constantly replenished. So part of this is going to go into that as well. So what we're really looking at in this context is just a burn back and forth mechanism. Now, if that's doable, for if you will, and simplistic, by the way, my design here is, is incredibly simplistic. Um, however, the problem that I've had in this is that there's no financial backing to it. So it'd be algorithmic and we wouldn't call it a stable coin because it's not, you know, that there's legal ramifications for that. So, but we would call it USTC. And, you know, if you, if you pegged it at the moment to one cent, because it's trading at around 2.2 .2 cents, something like that, or if you pegged it to two cents, then you would have to create an asset pool. So part of that burn process would also be used in order to buy Bitcoin or USDT in order to stabilize that price. And it would be fractions in the beginning, but there would be burns going on and then there would be reserve community, there would be reserves being created in this process that would be managed, I would like to say, by maybe the top five validators with a multi, uh, with a key or something like that, a multi-sig wallet, to make sure that it's not hackable or anything like that. So we would come up with some kind of protocol there that would make sure that we had that supply. Then you would turn to something like, say, Juris Protocol uh, that becomes the lender. And what does that do? Well, that creates enthusiasm for people trading back and forth on this chain. So when you stop, take a step back and realize in the course of about 16 months, the original Luna went from a billion supply to 343 million supply at the time of the collapse, then you recognize that there is a dynamic and huge amount of burn that could potentially be happening. Now, we have to speed that up if we want to make it through this bull run, right? Well, that's the thinking. However, there is a real, real possibility with the changing narratives across the world that we don't have to worry about that anymore. That what we could be looking at is just an absolute explosion of crypto that it will come back down, but bull and bear markets would be generally over and that we would just be in a permanent accumulation distribution bullish phase, continuing upward, kind of like the stock market of today. Uh, we don't really have these huge bear markets anymore. We've just been up for a long, long time. And even the downs that we have are flash crashes. And they're not real bear markets. So that's what that's what's being predicted for crypto. So with that being the case, that gives us a little bit more time to implement. And the other thing to remember is the top of Luna was during the bear market. It was in one of the worst parts of the bear market with Bitcoin trading at a very low number, somewhere around 20,000. So this is decoupled 
originally from the, the broader market. So just bear that in mind and let's get back into it because now I'm taking too much time and I want to get you what you need to know. All right, as far as the meme coins go, uh, not a great day for meme coins. See Jupiter down 21%, Alpha down 7%, Juris down 6%. A lot of money coming out of the market, broadly speaking. U.S. market's on the clock, so you're starting to witness a sell-off, which, by the way, I, I've told you guys before, and I'll tell you again, it's very necessary for this market to, to, to go down and reach liquidity. If you want to know where the liquidity is, go watch my live stream, which will be coming out in a little while. Overall market, 505 million right now, ranging up and down, but volume is still up. Volume continues to surge. Volume surging on USTC, but now people are selling off because they've made their, you know, the pump is completed. I told you guys, uh, the pump is completed though, and now it's time for that correction. As far as supply goes, we burned 46 million yesterday, only 50,000 today so far, 27 million of USTC. So, you know, the burns went went up, had a nice big move here, nice little move here, but it's not sustained yet. So, uh, you know, we, we got some more burns to go. We're at the second of the month. We got another 29 days before uh, Terraform Labs is closed out. So we'll see something significant in the meantime to there. If you're looking for some risk-based gaming, check out Terra Casino. Uh, right now, fizzy penny slots, probably a good multiplier on it. Uh, there's two billion in euros in the World Poker League uh, given away at Terra Casino until December 22nd. 1.2 million euros from Evolution Gaming from September 2nd to 29th. Don't know who the winners are right now. Uh, you can burn any one of these tokens. You know the tokens. I don't have to tell you what these tokens. And if you're trading meme coins, then make sure that you come to uh, TerraPort.finance to trade your meme coins terraport.finance right there um they're these are the guys that back me here so that i can continue to provide you with this terra casino terra terraport.finance these are the guys if you want to do um uh, if you want to do some trading come over here click trade and it's easy to trade remember there's a lot of different protocols that are pegged together and you've got your volume so you know exactly what's going on everything is transparent over here uh you have earn if you want to earn some terra now again i'm in the uh, 90 day, 19% one. I've got 29 days. It looks like left. And, uh, then I can claim this, but I'm not going to until the end of it. And then we're going to stake it again. We'll probably do it in the 14 day. We're just going to continue to yield and continue to yield and continue to yield. Now we've got a few pieces of news. Remember yesterday, I explained to you that Terra is going to pay, uh, pay back all of the people that got hacked about a year ago through this, uh, place. And then let's talk about rocket rocket season officially ended the second season officially ends today so if you're not playing rocket you're screwing up you're screwing up you really are you're screwing up anyway um uh, and you get gems that that's what they're giving away so the uh these gems uh are a great opportunity for you to to play this it's a tower defense game if you're not playing there's something wrong with you finally strath cole uh, is here with a proposal this talking about tax to gas uh, i'm not going to read the whole thing for you but safe to say i'm going to summarize just a little bit um that there was a problem with the version and they put out uh, a new updated version 3.23 but that also had the same kind of problem. Uh, the current deployment is 3.23 um, on testnet. The implementation here is, uh, I presented the, uh, they were going to work on it and he hasn't heard anything back from them over the problem, which by the way, is a pro that's the thing with Genuine Labs. You don't get a lot of communication out of them. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, Orbit Labs, they were willing to pull two, they were willing to do two pull requests. They also dug into the concept of tax to gas and helped him and they did local tests but more real life situation is absolutely necessary and in case the tests are all good i'll prepare a statement about the implications now his belief here is that it's important to understand that genuine labs is due payment on this because we agreed to it but what he thinks that should be happening is they should get 50 percent uh up front now and then after successfully completing it then they should get the other 50 percent because at this point they haven't successfully done what they've said that they were going to do in the tax to gas the implementation of which still has a few bugs in it now we've got a couple of people working on it so we'll, we'll get them paid and then uh, tax to gas becomes a real thing. So uh, it's important to note that there is no chance uh, to discuss this plan or idea with GL as the contract has not been active at all since around a week. Again, nonetheless, uh, done work should be paid, I think, and tax to gas will proceed this way or another. So it's all coming no matter what. It's just a question of uh, how Genuine Labs goes through it. And by the way, they're programmers. They're, I think, Vietnamese, uh, so they don't talk a lot. 
So we'll see how this all plays out. But I, I just want to say that I think that, you know, I, I don't have any reason to question them. They just don't hang out in social media and they're just not social media people. When it's ready, they'll let us know. So that's what's going on. That's your update for the day. Uh, as far as proposals go, there's 3.1.6 upgrade. That's the one. Uh, and and rather than that, that's, that's a wrap on the day. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.